So, face aware liquefiers are really useful and fun feature in Photoshop, but unfortunately it's not perfect and it doesn't work on every shot. And I'll show you what I mean. So if we go into this image and go to filter, liquefy. And then if you go to face aware liquefy, you can see that it says no faces detected. And unfortunately that means that none of these sliders can be operated. And this is because Photoshop can't detect what it thinks is an eye in the shot. And so the whole function won't operate. But what we can do to get past that really quickly and easily is to make our own eyes, which is a lot simpler than you think. If I press Command J on the background layer to make a duplicate, press B for my brush tool and make my foreground color white. All we need to do, as ridiculous as this looks, is to draw in our own fake cartoon eyes. There will just two white dots and then make black our foreground color. And with the brush still quite large, you don't want to make this too small, the dot, or it won't work. Just do a black dot inside of that. So this looks very silly, of course, and it's like some boggly cartoon eyes, but the contrast in the eye position that we've just created should be enough for the face aware liquefied to now work. And as you can see, it's now detecting a face just because of those fake eyes we've drawn on. And now we can go down and adjust whatever we like in the shot. Any of these adjustments will now work. Even the eyes, which is strange because obviously they're, they're not real, but, and it just goes to show that you don't even need to have realistic eyes in the shot for it to be able to detect the face. It just has to be something that it can pick up as an eye. So we made our adjustments, we'll click okay. But of course now you don't want that in your final shot because it looks absolutely ridiculous. So we're just gonna create a quick layer mask and with black as our foreground color, we're now just gonna mask out the googly eyes from the adjustment we made. And that is how to force face aware liquify to work even in a shot like this where the eyes are completely obscured. But I've got another example for you which is even more extreme. So if you have a look at this shot, the image is cropped. There's no area for the eyes to even exist in the image. And of course, no surprise if we go filter and face aware liquify here, there are no faces detected. But if we press command and J to make a duplicate of the layer a bit like last time, what we need to do in this situation is press C for the crop tool. And we're just going to drag it up to extend the canvas around where the eye area would be. And now on the pixel layer again, I forgot to mention this earlier, but you can't do this on an empty layer, it won't work. You have to draw these cartoon eyes on the actual pixel layer, which is why I made a duplicate. So a bit like earlier, just in the rough eye position, just click your cartoon eyes. That is absolutely fine. And now we'll find that if we go to filter and liquefy, Again, those drawn on eyes are enough for Photoshop to be able to detect that there's a face present and then allow all of the controls that you have available for face aware liquify. So again, you make all whatever adjustments you, you like, click OK. And in this instance, all we have to do to get rid of those temporary eyes is press C for the crop tool again and just drag down to recrop the image exactly as it was. And there you go. So that is a really quick and easy way of faking eyes onto a shot that is enough for Photoshop to actually detect the face and therefore let you use all the features of face wear liquify, even if the eyes are completely cropped in the original shot. Well, thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful and you picked up a couple of hints to use in your own images and projects in the future. <laughs> Thank you.